Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will be talking about uh, my mum's vaccination. On the 17th of March, it was for a uh, COVID, COVID-19 vaccination we had. So I wanted to share my experience of the AstraZeneca injection I got for a... Uh, well, the vaccination I got for the COVID-19. First of all, like everybody else, you know, you've got to hear all these stories and you think about uh, the injection coming out too soon. And I, I must I must say, I, I had the same thoughts. And then um, since um, I wasn't um, an early early person to get the injections, right, so I was quite eased off about it. You weren't key worker. No, I weren't key worker yeah, and the age and everything. So, you know, I was probably... One of the middle in the list, yeah. You would probably be, yeah, you would be at the bottom where I was probably in the middle. Yeah, how about being and then <laughs> all of a sudden, right, our head teacher I work in a school came round and she she had a, like a, a notebook and a pen and she started asking everybody if they wanted this injection. I had no idea. She, she saw one person and then the other one went to her and then somebody said to me, Right, Fatima, her teacher wants to see you and I'm like, What? Ah, what? What's going on here? I had no clue. And she said to me, do you want the COVID injection? And it was like, oh, whoops, what's happening here? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it had to be a quick answer. And because she was going around to everybody, can't have much um, mixing at school at the moment as well, because we're still in the lockdown and two metres distance and everything. I said no straight away. And then everybody started going for the injection. And one of the teachers says, oh, go on, Fatima, go for it. You know, why are you not going for this injection? Everybody has to have it. You can't travel without it the curse we got yeah i thought well that's a, well that's a fact though isn't it because you can't travel so you have to have it and we all want to get out of this curse sooner than later now we're in our third lockdown then won't we yeah yeah talk about being depressed so i thought oh go on then wait for this injection right with the, the couple of staff and um, i thought oh, oh what's gonna happen here so i was lining up and uh, when my turn came i went into the room and i, sp I looked at the lady and i'm like uh oh, I'm really nervous about this. I don't like needles. And she says, you'll be fine. So first of all, I got the, one of the doctors. I says, hold my hand. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't think about it. The lady lifted my arm. She was, uh, she was obviously getting ready to give me the injection. And she said to me, oh, do you like prints? And I looked at her. <laughs> prints. I looked at her and then all of a sudden it came to me because I was so nervous about the injection. I forgot the fact that I have a Michael Jackson tattoo. Yeah. yeah. And she said to me, do you like Prince? And I looked at her, Prince? Duh, this is Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Prince? Does Prince this look like tash. Prince? Yeah. Definitely not. But Prince so had anyway, a tash though. You can't yeah. really confuse that with So Prince. anyway, this lady started talking about my family and everything and she gave me this injection. It did not hurt. The needle did not hurt at all. And I'm like, oh, right. Okay. That was easy, you know? Right. So obviously we went out and I waited for the couple of staff who I went with so we could walk back to work. Um, together and obviously we were you know advised not to drive going back to school and I felt a bit funny when I got to school and I think oh god I could taste something in my mouth and by the time it got to about 12 o'clock um, I felt a bit dizzy and then slowly worse over the day and then in the evening I was sitting in front of my fireplace right with my jacket on I was shivering and then when I went to bed it was the shivers, the fevers all night. I couldn't get to sleep. I did take paracetamol. They did advise me to take paracetamol if I wasn't um, well. So all night, shivers and fevers are right. I didn't even have the energy to get up and uh, have take more tablets. That's how bad it was. The next day, that was it. I couldn't move. I felt sick. I felt dizzy. I was feeling cold. My body felt numb. And this like, continued for three days, really heavy-headed and dizzy. And then fourth day, I felt a bit better, but I still felt very weak. I thought, well, I've got to go back to work. So I was off like Thursday, Friday, and then I had Saturday, Sunday. So I went back to work and I still felt grotty and weak. And then that week, it was the last week of term. So it was the last week. I just felt really rough, but I didn't want to have more time because most of the staff, there was quite a few staff who were off, you know, had come back to work. So I thought to myself, I can't have more time off here. <laughs> So Friday night, that last day at night, I was just sick. I was sick twice. And then Saturday, stomach upset, Saturday, Sunday. And then even now, if I'm out walking, I get tired very easily. Mm. And I think it's still affecting me. And it's been like two weeks and I had this injection on 17th March. 
So yes, we do need it. Effects okay. of it, but the, some people didn't have any any effects. But some people who are affected yeah. are affected really badly. I think I've spoken as there's worse effects than what I've had. But you know that was my my experience experience yeah. about the injection. So guys, I thought I'll just let you know. But like okay. I said, we need it. We have to have it, don't we? Okay. The yeah. injection I yeah. had was actually called AstraZeneca, and the, apparently there's another one. Okay. The yeah. one is the supposed Oxford. to be the Oxford vaccination, yeah, does it? I'm not sure the name, but it's the Oxford one. Mine's the AstraZeneca one, and uh, okay. these are I the I think that's symptoms. the is that the Cambridge. I know there's a different bit. Well, what I think of it is um, there's been a lot of press about it in and out, and I watch what the members of parliament, the mighty, <laughs> but I won't say anymore. Piers Morgan got, Piers Morgan got in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Piers Morgan, if you're watching. Good man, Boris Johnson. Good man, I'm talking about Piers Morgan. Mm. Oh, yeah, but anyway, but yeah, there was sort of debate about it. See, personally, at first, I wasn't, I'm not sure. It was a mix of mixed emotion. You were, obviously, you want everything to go back to normal, and then there's the other side of all these rumours of all these, you know, what it's going to do. The people, there's a lot of rumours about it. You could die, mm. others about tracking you, what you're doing. And plus, they're forcing it, it's not an option. Well, obviously, can't go abroad or anything, so it is like in a way like a must have. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Okay. Now, okay, I'm asking questions. A few questions to you now, Mom. Would you recommend anyone getting it? Oh no, would you, would God! You... Right, the way I felt, right, it was bad, but to make the world a safer place, I think everybody needs to do it because we've no option, right? That that it's it's this curse we're in, aren't we, at the moment? Yeah, the pandemic. And yeah. It's not doing anybody. Good, you know, the vulnerable people, special needs, old people are dying more, you can't go anywhere, you're scared to touch anybody, you're scared to cough, you know, it's like a big curse, like I said before, so we need to get out of it, so it's not about recommending, I know a lot of people said it's too soon, but, but I suppose the doctors know what they're doing, the well. scientists and researchers and whatnot, I suppose they know what they're doing. Okay, so apparently I've heard that uh, COVID might be over in the summer, like things will start going back to normal. Is that true? I don't know, there's like mixed, mixed opinions about that. Yeah. Some people are talking about the third wave of COVID, which I think will be more. I don't, than, want, it. Oh, I don't want it, but I think that won't. will be possible come uh, October, November this no, year. No, it won't. Yeah. 100%. No. Okay, well, we've we'll got vaccinations. That. Not everybody's going to treat it like a flu. They're going to treat it like a flu. You know, have vaccinations every what few months. They come around to schools, workplaces, and city or have the vaccination like they do with flus. Yeah, it's it's going to be a, a year remedy flu every year. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what they're going to do. They can't keep. But I don't want to down. go over and over again. I feel ill like that. Yeah. Personally, well, they can't. They can't afford to. No one wants to be able. They, they're already talking about taxing us for the next Ten five years decades. Yeah, five yeah. decades. Well, yeah, so. Generations going to be paying for this. So what mm. do you want to pay more? What to do? No, it's just unfair, isn't it? No. Uh, I, I think we, I think we don't have uh, um, enough time to get. Only get taxed these... enough as it is. Never mind bloody double with this called a virus. No, Boris, I don't know no about lockdown. Yeah, okay. Right. So... <laughs> Piers Morgan here. Hey, good morning, Britain. If you're hiring, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, we have to have a joke about it, guys. No, yeah, it, yeah, we have to have no, a joke about a joke. it. It is very serious and um, yeah. I don't think we get enough time to get used to it because as soon as it starts flaring up, instead of fighting it and dealing with it, you know, we have a lockdown. So mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing yet, but I don't know how it's working. Nobody knows. It's all new to us and we're all confused. Dot com. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Nobody knows how to deal with it. Nobody. So if, if um, Boris Johnson uh, didn't do a lockdown, right? He still get abused at the fact that oh, he's doing nothing. He's having lockdown. People still not happy. So you know, you just don't. Yeah, know how but to that's deal fair with enough. It. But yeah. some of the choices that they've made as a government have been poor. I don't think they've done it. Got Such a thing as, right. Yeah. Such as many things. I what? think the way they, bought, they, they spent all that money on um, furloughed people. Not furloughed. That's not the issue. The the kit. What do you call it? The masks. All the protection. Spent millions on. They waited what. Three, four months into into the pandemic for it's everyone to idea. put to wear masks. How yeah. long, it took them what months for everyone to wear masks? And even at the start of the pandemic, all the other countries were going to lockdown. It lock was down. summertime. We started wearing the mask, and we could have started earlier. No, but, no about the countries 
when everyone was saying, oh, Italy's two weeks behind us or two weeks, in, oh yeah, two weeks in front of but us. But the other people were having lockdowns. We were still out and yeah. about. So yeah, so that, no, that should have been a warning. Oh yeah, we should go in on, we should go in on to be safe. But they, they didn't. But obviously we, no one knew about it, but they could have made better decisions. That's why they get paid all that money to make to well, that's difficult it. That's choices. That's it, but it's all new. People don't know how to deal with it. See, in foreign countries, in China, when they went into lockdown, they were cleaning. You know, the people who were at home, I'm sure nobody would have objected to walk around with a bottle of uh, some sort of disinfectant cleaning the streets. Nobody would well, have objected well, that. It's not, it's not, not about, no, they can pay people to do that. Give people work. That's work to do. You know, give them um, PPE, you know, full protective gear and walk around and clean the streets when yeah. everyone was inside. Yeah. I didn't watch. It would walk outside. You can. You got to eat the birds. Yeah, but no, we've not had no cleaning in England, haven't we? Not so. I suppose you know, in lots of um, foreign countries, they were cleaning with Dettol and everything. You know, the poor countries they were using mm. disinfect and things, trying to clean all the time. So, yeah, we could have done with more cleaning. I guess yeah. that might have helped. I feel like. Um having a job as being a cleaner is underrated because it just showcases that at a time like this right now doesn't it like we have to stay hygienic it and is make sure i wouldn't say it's clean. underrated but yeah it's, it is needed yeah and all jobs are important like yeah. nhs even the shopkeepers are hard work they had to do you know the nhs work very 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 hard yeah, but right can I just say and they had to stop stop uh, seeing their families because they were with these covid patients who couldn't go home so they wouldn't pass it on but there were shopkeepers who were there they didn't have all these uh, no, yeah exactly no but um, someone made a good point then. um well i am he mentioned on one of his live streams how before lockdown people used to laugh like if you had a job at bloody what do you call it supermarkets laugh at yeah. them like oh. no not laugh but you know deep down people would think it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i wouldn't say everyone would laugh but deep down you'd think that but now that was the only place where you could go and where it was chat. normal not a bit of normality not a chat yeah. normality you can't we'll talk to you, a checkout lady hi love no even then you could have heard a scream It'd have to be through the screen and everything, you would mask. No, we didn't have screens at the first, we've only just got screens. Yeah, in oh, England. yeah, well, now, yeah. but I'm just saying, though, you can have some sort of normality yeah. when you went to there. And from throughout this year, well, it's been about a year now since it was a global. Yeah. In China, it was, you know, late 2019, but as a global, it hit everyone. I'd say it was about the beginning of 2020. Mm. Well, I must, must say, I have to be honest, right? When uh, they were showing um, China, with the, this COVID-19 and whatnot, I was watching television and I thought to myself, well, it's not going to come here. Everyone thought that. Uh, yeah. Well, it's everyone's... not going to come here. No. And when it came here, I was in shock. I said, what? No, but personally, like, you'd you'd see news all the time in the past years where China did have, like, oh, other Asian countries, not just China, other Asian countries have them too. They have um, certain types of diseases and it wasn't widespread, mm. was it? You know, yeah, I don't, I, 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 I don't want to start well, naming... Yeah naming countries but i'm just saying there have been diseases in the past where it's been known but it didn't go dealt up. with yeah it wasn't as this global it yeah. wasn't it didn't affect everyone it's just in a certain area where you have to be a lot safer yeah yeah because i remember in like yeah um decades ago start of the millennium 2000 i think i think there was something in japan yeah and then even then after that people were wearing masks after the, it was over they were still wearing masks and even before the pandemic you would see people in the streets I'm uh, wearing masks come, who come, I'm not sure where they're from, but you saw people wearing masks. You'd think, have you got breathing difficulties? Or So it must have been, well, it must have been a reason then. Yeah, but in China, they, they, safety. because of the pollution, I think, they do quite often wear masks yeah, no. So anyway. No, but, so, yeah. but do you remember before the lockdown, we went to London and a lot of the people in London were actually using masks. Do you remember? On the same point. On the train, there were, so a lot of Chinese were anyway. I don't name anyone, but no. Yeah, no. yeah, I don't want to name, but they were. But, and it's good protection. They were doing good, I thought. But anyway, the problem is here, and um, you have to do what's right for you. But at the same time, we have to do what's right for uh, everybody to get out of this um, big pandemic. Yep, okay. And let's uh, make this world a happier and better place again. Yep, I hope everyone is well and staying safe. Hopefully we'll be out of there soon. Yeah, how about? A lot of countries require two vaccinations to go into the country like malta for example well i'm surprised him not bloody blocked it blocked the traffic you know going holidays oh earlier oh my word have you heard the latest news five thousand oh. pound if you go abroad you have to pay five thousand pound now come on it, there's no point in that no, well, the people are still coming in they're paying 
pay it. Well, they, they must it. have a lot of money to pay five thousand pounds. That's Bloody, a lot of money. But must have a lot of money. Bloody hell! But well, the country must need it if they're asking for that kind of money. But what about the pilots? And the airlines, they're, they're going to be bankrupt. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, it'll be on the screen and comment down below if you'd like us to talk more about our experiences with COVID and things like that. Also, apologise for the haircut. You know, it is locked down. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the lockdown haircuts. Yeah. The well, it's not too bad for girls. It what, just too looks, bad? You love it long. No, I don't but, like it long. I like my hair short. But you're but different. It's all right to have a bar. She's got long hair. It's too long for us, mate. Yeah, but, like, like, yeah, well, I, I like, like it. Like, this is like, not me. Like, like, this is me. Like it's me. nice. It's curly. You that is it. not way, any way curly. It was a flick. It's nice. Yeah. Well, she likes it. Anyway, my, my hair is just a mess, guys. It's definitely the, the lockdown look. Curly. That's yeah. curly, woman. Oh, yeah. that is. Yeah. Wavy, then. I think, wavy. I think if perms were back in fashion. That's wavy. Yeah, if, 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 if perms were back in fashion, I'd definitely not. have another perm. Perm? Yeah. I don't know what perm is. I do. Cool.